Good evening. It's wonderful to see you all again. As Dr. Sargent shared, I will be presenting on the overall mental health and wellness of our district at this time. This summer, our administrators and our staff worked incredibly hard to prepare for a successful transition back to school this, this September. I'm really excited that I have three of our peer leaders here tonight representing from Brooklawn Middle School. They're gonna share with you a little bit about their experiences over the summer and their just general experiences as peer leaders. I just wanted to share these fun pictures with you. Um, some of these were taken from videos that were prepared by each individual school, um, highlighting just the buildings and the grounds and students and staff and administration, just to introduce and reintroduce these students to those spaces and those spaces. So over the summer, our schools offered opportunities for students to come to the building, familiarize themselves with the facilities, and meet the people that they will be seeing on a regular basis daily. It was a fantastic way to increase the comfort level of our students and for them to build connections with others. Our staff was mindful of summer schedules and obligations, and for that reason offered multiple events for the students to attend. For example, Central Middle School offered 12 different open house dates for students, during which time they participated in student-led tours, an orientation-style meet and greets, and even a CMS game show-style trivia game, which they learned about the building and practiced their locks. The elementary, middle, and high school all tailored their programs based on the needs of the students and their levels. The high schools offered programs to unique grade level. For example, PHS had, I can, I'm gonna butcher this word, but it's sophomore and orientation all together at once. So sophomore orientation, is that how we think we <laughs> say that? I don't know. But so those were really geared towards the 10th graders who knowingly may have been in, um, entering the building for the first time if they were remote as freshmen. Um, PHHS offered a 12th grade open house in which students were encouraged to bring their um, Chromebooks and get um, some support and guidance regarding the college application process. So, oh, no, not yet. Oh, sorry, Joni. Um, so, just look at these faces up here. The teams in this district are really skilled at providing information that is necessary for students and families to know as well as doing that in a way that is comforting for, for the kids and simply just fun. Orientations at Mount Tabor included rainbow breathing and get to know you Jenga and egg and spoon race and they even had the opportunity to create sensory bottles. Overall as a district, we're very pleased with the levels of participation in our summer programs and offerings. These incredible young women back here are going to talk to you a little bit about the tours at BMS this summer, but I just need to share with you the astounding number of students that they had participate in the summer tours because when I heard it, I was blown away. They had over 400 students participate in tours this summer. All right, Joni, thanks. So this summer I was meeting with Carly Stout in her office at Brooklawn, and while we were meeting, she said, wait, hold on, our video is done, our video is done, I need to watch. And it was a video, as I talked about before, reintroducing the um, students to Brooklawn. And we watched it together, and I was just blown away by the two students in there that were pictured up here, and doing a wonderful job of talking about Brooklawn. So one of them here is Saisha Patel, and she's gonna come up and speak to you just shortly. Emma Likowski, I just wanna also mention because she did a great job in that video as well. So these three young ladies, Audra Crane, Saisha Patel, and Maddie Harmon are going to talk to you a little bit about their experiences over the summer and their continued experiences at Brooklawn. All right, Saisha. Good evening. During the Brooklyn tours this summer, the incoming sixth graders had a lot of questions. I enjoyed seeing the relieved look on their faces when they got the answers that they needed. 
I like helping the younger kids out when they need it, and it makes me feel good to be a part of their time at Brooklawn. It is only September, but everyone knows what they're doing because of all the announcements and advisories. School this year has been even smoother than I expected. My favorite part of the tours was during orientation when I high-fived the sixth grader that I knew from out of school. It made me feel happy and I hoped it made him feel more confident about Brooklawn. I like being a peer leader so that I can assist others when they are having trouble and so I can feel like a leader in school. I love to take charge and lead my friends, classmates, and soccer team, so being a peer leader helps me do that even further. One thing I also liked about being a peer leader was that on the first day of school, some sixth graders recognized us from orientation and could rely on us to help them get to class. I felt like a role model and like I was helping others. When we first saw the younger students this summer, they seemed very quiet and a little intimidated by the school. By the end of the tour, they seemed more comfortable and relaxed. I could tell they felt better about going to the classes and getting around the building. I like being a peer leader because I can help other students and peers and make them feel more comfortable at Brooklyn. Being a peer leader has helped me become a better person because it helps me with my leadership skills. I'm looking forward to going to elementary schools later this year and talking to the fifth graders about Brooklyn because I know I really enjoyed that experience. Great job, ladies. I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to hear them and, and meet them because I really had a wonderful time over the past several weeks just getting to know them and, and preparing for this. All right, Joni. So increased outreach to special populations. So our teams were really mindful that there were special populations of students that would need additional support and some increased outreach. So our staff made personal phone calls, sent individualized emails to those families. The outreach ensured that those students were building personal connections that would help to support them throughout the remainder of the school year. There were a number of individualized tours at each of the schools, which allowed parents and students to have one-on-one -on -one time with the staff in that building, answer specific questions based on student needs, and develop plans for, to ensure an ongoing comprehensive support for those students during the year. Leading up to the school year, counselors, CST members, and administrators facilitated 504 and CST meetings, these meetings resulted in plans to support the students' academic growth as well as their social emotional growth. So these are just some more great things that we had going on and we continue to have going on. Um, that picture up top is from a beautification project at Rockaway Meadows School um, that Mr. Cruz facilitated. Um, there were two different dates and students, staff, families, community members came together to just beautify the grounds and, and have it looking the way it does now. The second picture is three of several students from PHS who went back to Lake Hiawatha School to participate in rock painting and several other um, art activities preparing for the students to return. All of our schools had kindergarten orientations and socials, which sounded like an incredible hit, and I continue to hear about these ice pops that the PTA sponsored. I'm not sure what kind of ice pops they were, but every school is talking about them. Um, we also, um, thanks to Dr. Sargent, um, the first, weeks of, first six weeks of school book through Responsive Classroom, were distributed at every school throughout the district in order to serve as a resource for professional development. For example, on September 1st, Mr. Figarelli and Mr. Radiotis at Lake Hiawatha um, presented to their entire staff based on the book, which really um, provides a guide to structuring the beginning of the school year and build a foundation which increases student motivation and strong academic and social emotional skills. Um, as were mentioned earlier by one of our students, um, connection clusters um, as well as advisories have been going on. Um, during these sessions, students participate in 
um, groups with, with staff members and really have an opportunity to work on social emotional learning based skills and activities. So over the past several months, we've been working with Atlantic Health System to provide psychoeducation and resources for our families in the district. Through this partnership, we have made available a presentation by Dr. Peter Bolo, who is the Medical Director of Behavioral Health and the Resiliency Advocate for Atlantic Health. Um, so his presentation, which is titled Managing the Back to School Emotions, keep calm and have a strategy is posted on all of our school's web pages. Mr. Courtright and I have had several meetings with a representative from Atlantic Health named Jennifer Carpenteri um, with the purpose of creating professional development for our counseling staff, pre-K through 12. And we will be covering topics that address the various social emotional needs of our students. In addition, we also have a continued partnership with Mr. Bernie Ivan through Strength for Change. And throughout the spring, Mr. Ivan offered professional development for our counselors every other Friday. And these sessions were really geared towards raising the competency and effectiveness of our counselors and delivering counseling, um, excuse me, cognitive based counseling strategies. And I'm pleased to say that these sessions will start up again soon and will continue to be offered to the counselors, and it's a tremendous resource. So I'm grateful for the opportunity to highlight the great work that has been going on in the district, and thank you for your time and continued support.